eating my pineapple, yeah. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashlyn. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my simple and minimalistic everyday makeup routine. Now I don't do a whole lot since I'm doing online school, so I kind of just go for a simple, natural look. And yeah, I wanted to share it with you today. So the first thing that I do is tan. So I did use this last night, my deluxe face tan from Loving Tan, and I use like their body mousse as well. And I still have a code Ashlyn if you want to get a free applicator mitt with your purchase from Loving Tan. I just wanted to throw that out there if you're looking for a good tanning brand. So yeah, I like to keep my skin moisturized as well. I have that on and then I also have my Sunbum SPF 50 sunscreen. Living in California, I've just realized how important it is to make sure that your skin is protected. So I apply this all over my face and my neck. And then I like to go in with a little base, just BB cream. This is just the Maybelline BB cream from Target that like a lot of people use and I just put it on my beauty blender. I've just been like breaking out recently and mostly just on this side, but I kind of just like to do a light coverage. I don't want to put a ton of products on my face, but just to kind of like cover up those marks. And then after my base, I like to go in with a little bit of concealer. This is just from Morphe. Put it underneath my eyes on like my blemishes and yeah, just kind of add an extra layer of like coverage to my face. I've been noticing that my patches of like acne have just been on this side and I like I'm 99% sure it's a hormonal acne just because I have gone off birth control, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. I just really need to like get into my dermatologist again to see what she has to say about it because I have been on Accutane before, which is really confusing because that's so strong and it should prevent blemishes from forming like at all. I haven't gotten acne in like over a year since being on it, so I think it's definitely from stopping my birth control but let me know if you had like similar experiences before because it's been so weird for me to like have acne again but anyways next product i like to use is my cloud paint this one is like a pretty salmon color my friend and i actually switched i did have the darker red like burgundy one but this one is the in the shade beam and she didn't really like this one but i've been trying it out and i really like it it's kind of like that peachy salmon color so I just apply that underneath or just like on my cheekbones where blush normally sits it's super subtle but that's kind of like what I like about it also sorry if there is construction in the back I realized I started this video right when they normally start doing that so my apologies if it's in the background I'm trying not to like film when i hear like them pounding or whatever so see there it is right there <laughs> and before i do my powders i like to do my eyebrows next i just use a basic brush to kind of like comb them out and then i got two new products recently from glossier one is their brow flick so this one is like i don't know if you've heard of it before but you just kind of like touch up your eyebrows you make really fine lines and just kind of like swipe up a little bit swipe up <laughs> and fill them in so i've been really liking this but i did get it in a blonde color i wish i would have gotten it in like the brown color i don't know why i just thought that i would use like a lighter color but i really should have gotten the darker one and i'm still kind of trying to figure out how to use it i've been making like too thick of lines when you're supposed to do it more like finely but i think it's just because i got the blonde it like kind of sits funny on my face my next eyebrow product is from glossier as well this one is the boy brow which i kind of like this one better it just is like your basic i got it in like the clear 
comb and you just like brush up your eyebrow hairs it just really helps them like hold in place so they're not like flying everywhere throughout the day and then i just like brush them one more time so yeah i don't know why i've just recently started doing my eyebrows but i think it makes a difference and i like how it looks throughout the day kind of just adds to my makeup in general then moving on to powders i first use my morphe setting powder and filter three i do need a new one of this like soon but i kind of want to try a different brand i'm like almost out of it but i just use this kind of like to set my face obviously my face gets a little bit more oily throughout the day especially since i did use sunscreen it's just kind of like the negative effect that sunscreen has but it's good to be protected then not so yeah i'm gonna apply this just to all over where i kind of put like powder And then one of my go-to lifesavers is my bronzer. This definitely helps tie in the look, contour my face, and also just like match my face with my body. Obviously my face is a little bit paler than the rest of like my skin tone. So this is from Morphe as well. It's in the shade Icon. And I just use a basic brush. I know this is not really the brush that you're supposed to use for bronzer, but it, it'll do. <laughs> I always always contour down to my neck to blend out the colors i just feel like if you don't at least in my opinion like you can totally tell the color difference okay and then just a few finishing touches i don't always wear a mascara especially if i'm doing online school when i do wear it i use glossier lash stick it just really helps like elongate my lashes the bristles kind of like pretty fine so it just helps to like separate all of them and i really like how it makes them longer instead of like more volumized i know that's kind of the look that i go for and it's also easy to take off which is like definitely a plus so i've been using this since january i just got a new bottle recently so mascara always applies way nicer when it's freshly out of the package so now that mascara is on definitely kind of like ties the look in together like with everything which i really like so that's why i don't use it all the time just kind of like almost just so much we good though that would have been bad that would have gone all over my school stuff so what was i saying the last the last step of my makeup routine is lip products and occasionally throughout the day i'll use like my sun bum sunscreen again super into like protecting my skin definitely the good vibe to be on hop on that sunscreen train <laughs> but for the most part like if i'm you know going out i guess i'll use a gloss and this is from glossier as well so you can probably tell i got a bunch of products from them recently and i've heard the hype about this it's just their clear lip gloss but for some reason it's like a game changer it just kind of like adds a little shimmer and sparkle to your everyday makeup routine so i don't know if i'm taking a photo or something i'll put this on but obviously i'm not gonna like apply it every time i need like something on my lips so that's why i use my sun bump. super moisturizing as well which i really like so yeah definitely a little good piece to have in your makeup drawer but this is the final look i hope you enjoyed it it was pretty quick and easy and just kind of like my everyday natural routine i've been trying to do more minimalistic and simple makeup just because i don't know you know you're beautiful just the way you are you don't need a ton of makeup all the time but of course do whatever makes you happy i'm all about that as well but i've just noticed for me personally if i have a more simple routine i just feel better just kind of get my day started look a little bit more confident and yeah just kind of like my go-to makeup look but i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe i post new videos every monday and thursday so you don't want to miss out on those and comment down below if you have any video requests as well anything you haven't seen from me yet or you would like to see and i would definitely do that for you but thank you guys and i will see you all in my next video bye everyone my pineapple, yeah. She's sour, she's so sweet.